이어서 KCTV 잉글리시 뉴스가 방송됩니다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
After a few weeks of smaller releases, or else just one big event, we're back to two big tentpole films here for two very different audiences. First up is Dumbo, a live-action remake of the classic Disney animated movie from way back in 1941 that's looking to appeal to a much more modern and broader audience. And then it's Jordan Peele's sophomore outing, Us, which is promising to give us a fresh look at horror, just like Get Out did a couple years back. So warm up your ears and check under your bed to make sure your doppelganger isn't underneath it wearing a freaky mask ready to kill you, because those are the two options for this week. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Laidman. There have been a number of new Disney live-action remakes over the past couple years, and there will continue to be more. Whether or not they're necessary is another discussion, but Dumbo, at least, is one that can benefit from an update to help shed some of its old and Welcome tired to tropes. Me. Circus owner Max Medici enlists former star Holt Ferrier and his children Millie and Joe to care for a newborn elephant whose oversized ears make him a laughingstock in an already struggling circus. But when they discover that Dumbo can fly, the circus makes an incredible comeback, attracting persuasive entrepreneur V.A. Vandeveer, who recruits this peculiar pachyderm for his newest, larger-than-life entertainment venture, Dreamland. Dumbo soars to new heights alongside a charming and spectacular aerial artist, Colette Marchand, until Holt learns that beneath its shiny veneer, Dreamland is full of dark secrets. Tim Burton brings a lot of his visual flair to the movie, but shows restraint too. Now the story is a little stretched, taking away from the wonder and making a viewing less magical than it otherwise should be. Jordan Peele shocked a lot of people with Get Out, a thriller that combined eerie scares with strong social commentary. Now he's back with us, proving that one second movie doesn't have to be a flop and providing some food for thought as you get thoroughly spooked. Haunted by an unexplainable and unresolved trauma from her past and compounded by a string of eerie coincidences, Adelaide feels her paranoia elevate to high alert as she grows increasingly certain that something bad is going to befall her family. After spending a tense beach day with their friends, the Tylers, Adelaide and her family return to their vacation home. When darkness falls, the Wilsons discover the silhouette of four figures holding hands as they stand in the driveway. Us pits an endearing American family against a terrifying and uncanny opponent, doppelgangers of themselves. Tense, funny, bizarre and mystifying, Us will pin you to your seat and leave you stiff with fear. Taking a look at our weather, looks like the skies will remain mostly cloudy throughout the day with a 60% chance of rain in the morning. For the details, here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 11 and the afternoon high 16 degrees. Down south in Sogipo, Temperatures will hit a low of 12 in the morning and peak at a high of 17. Over in Songsan, expect a low of 9 and an afternoon high of 16 degrees. Across the island in Kosan, We'll have a low of 11 in the morning, warming up to a high of 14. And up on the mountain at Sangpanak, the morning will start with a low of 7, topping off at 12 degrees. Out on the water, Winds will be out of the southwest and west at a speed of 7 to 16 meters per second with seas between 1 and 4 meters. And here's a look at the extended forecast. 
that brings us to the end of today's newscast. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, you can find us on YouTube at KCTV eNews Cheju. Take care.